The achievements of the public service workforce in the Royal Canadian Navy over uh, the past 20 months, both before and during the pandemic, has been nothing short of outstanding. We have continued to deploy ships to NATO, to Indo-Asia Pacific, around the world, showing the operational excellence that the Navy is known for. And none of this, none of this would be possible without the contributions of our public servants. We feel like we're an integral part of the Navy. We keep the base clear of any hazardous materials and make sure that the members of the Navy are safe and the staff remain safe also. I really love what I do here. Uh, it's different every single day. A lot of the supply chain is you do one thing over and over again and here we have the opportunity to do so many different things and we're making a difference to the environment as well. Here in Timi, we are an integral cog in the machine of the Navy. Uh, we are behind the scenes making sure the Navy is able to complete their missions. It's a great group of people we have here and we feel like we have a sense of purpose. So what I've come to realize over the years is that the civilian workforce really formed the backbone of the fleet maintenance facility through their skills and experience that they've got, and they're the ones that are really delivering the material readiness required for the fleet. For them, it's all about pride. I'm a proud Canadian to start with, so uh, I have a lot of respect for the Canadian Armed Forces. For myself, uh, to have the opportunity to work hand in hand with them um, really helps me feel important and proud and happy as a Canadian. I also uh, feel that the uh, job that I do here is very important, uh, making sure that the workforce and also the members of the Royal Canadian Navy return home to their families safely every day. I find that quite rewarding. There's not too many trades that you get to see instant results and see how happy people are with the work that you've produced right away. It's usually a, a long duration of time where we can just go and we can print something and within half an hour, hour, they're, they're happy and, and you know, satisfied com uh, customers. The best part about coming to work at FMF every day is the people that you get to work with and interact with on a daily basis. We all have the same goal to get the ships out to sea and it's just a, a treat to work with these individuals to accomplish this, this goal. There's a remarkable amount of talent and skill sets here in Dockyard. Unimaginable, really. Um, you don't know until you come here how much talent there is. The public servant workforce in the Royal Canadian Navy is about 4,000 public servants strong across nine different unions and 29 different occupational groups, from ship repair workers and engineers and electricians to firefighters and ship's crews, right to the procurement specialists, IT, finance, and administrators that really are the backbone of the enterprise. It is this entire team, this entire team working towards RSTN objectives that allows us to meet our commitments both in Canada and across the world. On any given week, we've got uh, really good examples of employees that are demonstrating their dedication to the RCN uh, and to the, the East Coast fleet. I'm a pipe fitter here in a fleet maintenance facility, Cape Scott. I love my job. I've been here for 12 years and there's no other place I would rather work than here. I'm a welder at FMF Cape Scott. I've been in the shop 21 years and I really like welding. I feel like we are a team. We can't have one without the other one. I love coming to work every day, working with a great team of people and a sense of pride in knowing that we're taking care of important business to keep the, the people of the base and the community safe. Military personnel, they have to make a lot of sacrifices for their day-to-day -day lives and for their families that I don't have to make. 
I do feel like a member of a team and uh, a valuable member of that team to get them to the position that they need to be in. If there was one message I'd like to pass on, it's thank you. Thank you for all of the RCN's public servant workforce, for all that you do, for all that you contribute. Without you, simply it would be next to impossible to get ships to sea to continue to meet our operational objectives. So thank you for everything you do each and every day.